I know like the music industry is always evolving and changing. And uh, on top of all these new uh, channels that are emerging to push and promote music, uh, we've also seen a large rise of playlists and the effect that it's having on album plays, traditional album plays. Uh, are albums as important for new artists in this time period of music? Well, I think albums are important to a lot of artists. Um, the question really is, does the consumer still want to get, you know, 10, 13 tracks at one time? And I think it varies uh, greatly by genre, by artist. Um, I think, you know, indie rock type artists um, that have passionate followings probably have a better opportunity to get people to consume a full album. Um, but I just think that the evolution of the world we're in, um, the album has a big question mark on it. Is it, is it an album? Is it a series of EPs? What, what is the best way for artists to bring their, their music to market? And, um, you know, clearly in a playlist world where a lot of people use that as their primary source of consumption off of their favorite DSP, um, you start to wonder, you know, how are you going to even get people to go that deep into a body of work? So it's a big question mark for the future. Definitely. And I know that another potential trend is uh, fragmented fandom and sort of niche becoming more of the mainstream. And there's predictions that over the course of time, uh, a larger number of artists are going to emerge and the listening experience is going to become more personalized. Do you agree with that sentiment? Well, I think we're in a very interesting evolution in consumption. So I think that what's interesting is that um, there's a lot more opportunity for artists with smaller fan base to have really intimate relationships with that, that audience um, through social media, through many of the various channels that allow you to really reach out and touch people. Um, you know, there's a, there's a, new technology, if you will, that came out uh, that tons of people are using now called Community, which is actually creating one-on-one -on -one text relationships on top of what people are doing with social media. So I, I do think that um, in one way, the, uh, the smaller niche stuff is going to get bigger. The other side of that or the opposite side of that is um, how big an audience can you amass these days on any one song or artist? Right. Uh, and I know that was actually something we were going to touch on a little bit later was community, because uh, I know Guy played a large role in um, kind of starting that up and bringing it to the forefront. And I know it's still getting off the ground. Uh, but I think that that's really, I think like artist accessibility, that's something that we always, that, that's always kind of there and something that we're going to see more and more of. And it's like, how do you engage with your fans? And I think community is awesome. I've started to to use it to connect with uh, some people as a uh, consumer, but uh, is that something that we're going to see more of also like more of these kind of new evolving ways that artists can interact with their fans? Well, you know, Guy is a visionary. He's, uh, he's clearly a, a very, very smart person. And what he saw immediately was a huge void in the relationship of artists with their followers through you know, social media platforms that you had a message that went out to the kid in Seattle that was the same as the kid that was following you on in Singapore or London or whatever. Um, and so the beauty of community is you can segment your followers, your audience, and talk specifically to women under the age of 25 or people in the New York area when you're coming to play a gig and you want to like, uh, you know, intimately touch base with those people that are going to show up at that show. Uh, it, it, it's a really cool platform. And um, the other thing that's great about it is the artist owns all their data as opposed to, you know, I want to go on uh, Katy Perry's Instagram account tomorrow and, and, and advertise to all those people. I can do that. And she right. doesn't even own that data. So it's it's a, it was a really obvious hole, and uh, I think when Guy saw the technology, and he had always in his head thought there was a missing link here, and 
uh, it's exploded. The, the technology, the, the, the platform is really great for what it is. 